Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a genetic disease of the heart muscle, it causes abnormal thickening of the heart muscle. It can also be associated with abnormal or dangerous heart rhythms and sudden death. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the most common cardiovascular genetic disease. It affects one in 500 people in the population here in the United States. We typically diagnose hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in young people, but it really affects all age groups of, of people. But because it's a genetic disease, the predisposition to the disease is present from an early age, but often we don't find the symptoms until the patient is much older. Patients will come to us with shortness of breath or chest pain, and that will often lead to an electrocardiogram, so a, an electrical image of the heart taken from 12 different views using 10 little sticky electrodes that go on the, the arms and the legs and across the chest. And we can find abnormalities in the electrocardiogram, but really the gold standard uh, modality for diagnosing hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart. We often will put patients on the treadmill and we'll exercise them and, and make measurements of the heart before and after. And these days we also use magnetic resonance imaging. So kind of like a CAT scan, but without the uh, radiation, this is, uses magnetic resonance to image the heart at very high resolution. We're very lucky here at Stanford Hospital and at the university because we have a very wide range of services that we can offer the patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Some are very simple. For example, if the patient is a competitive athlete and that sometimes happens, then we give them advice about um, unfortunately avoiding competitive exercise because we believe that that's a risk factor for dangerous rhythms. Secondly, we have medications and our medications in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are aimed at really relaxing the heart. The, the hearts in this condition are, are stiff and they contract very, very hard often. It's not a weakness of the heart muscle, but rather a, a, almost a, the, the contraction is too strong. For patients for whom the medications are not enough, who still have symptoms and are, are limited, uh, then there are other options. And the more invasive options include surgical myectomy. And myectomy is a procedure where heart muscle is removed from the heart, so it's an open heart surgery. In the more recent past, a number of our cardiology colleagues have looked at alternative methods of taking away that heart muscle. And one in particular, which is known as alcohol septal ablation, is also available here for a select group of, of patients. One of the very important treatments we have for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is protection against sudden death. One of the tragic things with the condition is it can be associated with dangerous heart rhythms, and for many years we had no answer to that. But in the recent past, we've been able to implant defibrillators, so a little pacemaker-like device that goes just under the collarbone here and can monitor the heart at all times. And if the heart goes into a dangerous rhythm, then it can apply pacing or, or even a shock if required to shock the heart back to normal rhythm. And this can save lives. So the big changes, I think, for the future in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are, first of all, in the genetics of the disease. We've moved just in the last two or three years from testing one or two genes to eight genes to 16. And very shortly, we will be able to assess the whole genome of patients with these conditions. And so we're very interested on the research side of our centre at looking at ways of implementing those changes going forward. And finally, maybe a little further on the horizon, in the research laboratory that's associated with our centre here, we're looking at gene therapies. Maybe we would be able to turn off the mutant gene so that the heart could actually recover and this would be a real therapy for the underlying condition.